Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start this video, I just want to say a few things. Please subscribe because we're so close to halfway 7k and I'm trying to get 7k by the end of next month. So subscribe because there's two parts to this video and I can possibly do like five. So if you don't subscribe with notifications on, you'll never know when the next part comes out. So subscribe. Also guys, follow my Twitch because I'll be streaming on there pretty much immediately after this video goes out, I think. Well, if not, like, around the time the video goes out, so just check it out, because I'm trying to get 200 followers, we're going to need about 30 more, so any followers will be appreciated. Uh, I mean, if you're not there, you're missing out, it's just it's such a good time. But yeah, anyway, in this video today, what we are going to do is we I'm going to show you guys how to get your custom cards. I hope you guys want to make them, but so I'm finally going to show you guys. It does take a long time, so... I'm going to do multiple videos on this, so this part is just going to be the basics. Next video is going to be like creating the player, adding to the game and like stuff like that. And then I'm going to do another part on like tips and tricks. And then there's going to be probably, I can do pretty much anything. But for this, you will need a laptop. It doesn't have to be a Mac, but give me anything. A laptop and you will need a jailbroken phone. But yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so I didn't explain this well in the video originally, but pretty much um, jailbreaking. I did a tutorial on it a few weeks ago. It might have even been a month ago. And if you want, you could just search it up. Once you jailbreak your device, you'll want to go into Cydia and search up an app called Filesa. Download that called Filesa, F-I-L-Z-A. You're going to download it. And then you're going to open the app up. And then that's where I started off in the video. Also, guys, on your computer, you're going to go to Google Chrome or your search, search bar and download an application called Realm Studio. Just search Realm Studio, and it should be on like coding games, blah, blah, blah. It's not, might not be the first one, but it'll be the second one, definitely. Just check out the most, make sure you do get the right one. Um, Once you've downloaded it, you're all set, and you can, that's like, you can just follow along with the video. So if it does go too fast, just make sure to message you on Instagram, at least by one X on the screen right now. And yeah, enjoy the video. You're going to go into Files and you're going to scroll down to find Apps Manager. Once you find it, you're going to click on it and click the I in Pacewitz 20. Then once you click that I in Pacewitz 20, you're going to go Library, so Documents, and you see a default realm at the top. Once you see that default realm, you're going to click like the thing at the top, tap on it, and you're going to share it to your computer. Because once you're doing your computer, then you're able to edit the players. So you click send email, and then you're going to email this um, realm to your computer. Once you're on your computer, then you need to get us. Uh, so first of all, you need to get something called default realm. Once you're a default realm, you see you have all the player IDs right here, and you're, it's like everything's available. You can change anything. If if you're good with coding, you can just go ahead and do this. But for the people who aren't, make sure you check out my next video because I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. So pretty much there's a, a button where it says new player at the top. You're going to select new player. The ID, you're going to put in a player ID. The player ID does not matter. It's just, it's better to be organized if you're going to create some customs. Then the name, whatever name your player. So if I can just put in Lucifer, or probably just put in Lucifer, just any player you want and stuff like that. Um, then you can put in a rating, color, and club ID. Pretty much that's how you create the player. You're going to then you click done at the top. There's a few more things. I'm going to do more in detail next video. But this video is just like an overview to show you guys the basics. Because in case you do know what this stuff is, then you'll know what to do. And if you don't, then make sure to check out my next video. But guys, guys that's going to wrap it up for today. Please subscribe for, and follow the Twitch. I will be I should be live. I'm really trying to get 200 followers on Twitch. And I'm near, I want to get 7k. I really do. We're trying to get 10k by the end of the year. So if you subscribe, any, like I know a lot of you will watch this and who are not subscribed. So just... There's no harm in subscribing because you want to see the next part. But yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys next video.